Now the question is, why are the pretty ones always the grumpy ones? Hey, wanna see some cool eyes? They're silver eyes, absolutely cool. Yeah, look at those eyes, white eyes. This snake is very unique. Now, these have 30 years of background in them. This snake actually changes from this to this. Everybody always asks, what happens to all the babies? Well, they grow up and get all crazy cool looking. This here is an orange ghost stripe sunfire albino white phase. And we're always asking about genetics. Well, look at that beauty. Is that incredible? Look at the saturation in that color. Absolutely amazing. Now, you think that one's cool? We'll just call this one number one too. I don't know how we say pick a number. So ready? Here we go. Let's grab something else. Another really cool snake is a cow. Absolutely incredible. You guess why they call them cows, right? Because they got the speckles and black and white like a cow. Now, the cool part about this cow has got an extra gene called Citron. Absolutely beautiful. It's, you can see it's got really deep, different colors. Anything from tan, black, yellow, to even some little bit of light orange. Anyway, amazing. All these snakes are reticulated pythons. Number two, right? Let me see what else I can dig out. Boom! Check this one out. When I say boom, ha, this one caught me in the chin a few minutes ago. Now this is a world's only, and it's actually a little male, and he thinks he's a big male. That's how he got me, because he's actually getting a little crazy. And now here's a cool part. So this here is what you call like a monomaly of a snake. This is a one of a kind, never had it before, never seen it before. It's actually came from a, a caramel albino. And the cool part about it is it came out the, the blonde color, but look at all the cool, it's a golden child. It's got, it's got everything in it. It's got non-albino, albino, it's got black on it. It's like every paradox, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. It's absolutely amazing snake. Look at its eyes are even white. It's got like white eyes. Yeah, look at those eyes, white eyes. Absolutely cool snake. Yep, one of those little babies. But you know, it's funny because those little babies all grow up. Now they don't all get 25 feet long. That takes a very, a lot of dedication, a lot of time and an excessive amount of food. So this snake here could easily get really big because it is a reticulated python. But look at that, and reticulated pythons, by the way, are the longest snakes in the world. This is a white-headed pied, absolutely beautiful. Of course, we've had panda pieds. This is a platinum, and it's a tiger, and it's a citron. Citron really just means it's het for titanium. But anyway, that helps it make it high white. Let me show you another amazing snake. That's snake four. Now this one's different. It's kind of like green. <laughs> now the way we got the green is this got sunfire, and it's got anatheristic which is anery missing the red pigment and it's so basically it's missing the red pigment but sunfire is red so what's left is this weird color when you add that all together with a golden child it just comes out really cool it's an amazing snake and again want to see some cool eyes this one's eyes are even different they're silver eyes absolutely cool number five now look at this one this snake here is almost like my love black but it's not because it's got phantom in it. It's motley, golden, child, and phantom, which makes it have this weird sheen to it. And it's kind of like a blue snake, but it's hard to really see what I'm talking about maybe, but maybe then again, maybe the camera's picking it up. Yep, that's number six. One another amazing cool snake. Look at that. Now the question is, why are the pretty ones always the grumpy ones? They're always the grumpy ones, but Look at that, that's a titanium super tiger, motley, platinum, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at how pretty this snake is. And this is, it's just shedding. It's got a shed a little bit broken up, but the good news is they are very rarely grumpy and she just knows she's beautiful. Here's a handful of some more colors. This is an orange ghost stripe, no sun fire, absolutely beautiful possible platinum and that is a very cool looking snake and they weigh these work as they get better and better as they grow up now look at this orange ghost stripe sunfire platinum motley don't see those every day i don't even know if i ever see one to be quite honest pretty cool snake we started with some with the jeans kind of late but we were able to make a lot of really cool ones now look at this thing this is an albino 
orange ghost stripe, motley golden child, and platinum possible sun or sun possible platinum. Pretty darn weird looking snake. It's got an incredibly cool head stamp. You can see, look at the variation of these snakes right here. They're absolutely, definitely a cool gene. They started it out, Kevin McCurley uh, from Nerd started the, the uh, uh, orange ghost stripe gene. And, and, and of course, there's so many of these snakes, Bob Clark, Sunfire, all these people that most people don't even know existed, to be honest, because there's so many people outside of the beginning of it. A lot of people they go find these snakes and they don't have any they don't have any knowledge of the true how far back these projects are 20 20 25 years old some of them i'm going to show you a project here in a second that is literally over 28 years started and one of the first ones that ever existed was in my hands they ended up going to bob clark and let me show you what we just made that is probably a world's first different gene but we're gonna we're gonna jump to that in just a minute well check this out this is a Phantom Mochino. It's weird because the eyes don't even look albino. Phantom Mochino Sunfire Platinum Genetic Stripe Super Tiger. <laughs> this here is absolutely incredible. This, this one here is actually a Super Tiger Sunfire Platinum Mochino Genetic Stripe. So the difference is, is this doesn't have the Phantom in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The Phantom, I don't know if I like the Phantom as much because it put a little bit of pattern back in it. This could be just a Tiger. This is for sure a Super Tiger. So Tiger and Super Tiger. Now, those here, these snakes here are, these have 30 years of background in them. And the funny part is, all the people the pet trade don't even know that these snakes that they pick up and they fall in love with have 30 years of history of people working to create this whole hobby. The hobby is, you know, basically loving animals, enjoying snakes, and growing them up. Now, these particular snakes are partially dwarf, so they won't get as big. Uh, of course, they're reticulated python, so they still get in the 10 to 12 foot range. Uh, but they aren't like the 25 footers that you can get. But they're absolutely beautiful. So many colors. These here, of course, this one here is absolutely dynamic. We call this the pink panther. <laughs> It's a, now this is actually a, a ultra, it's an ultra phantom titanium, which is really wild looking. It has a pink, a pink hue. I don't know if you can see it. It's not really solid. It was probably more pink at one point, but it does depend on the lighting, but it's, it's got a pink haze through the whole body. And this is just one, a gorgeous pie that's high white, that's a citron. And uh, the Citron and the Tiger together really make it to have really high white. And we were able to consistently produce those. Look at this is actually a sibling to the one. Absolutely gorgeous nose. Now, if that ain't cool, now here's another whole direction. This is what you call snow. And the snow is missing the red pigment. So it only has yellow and purple. It's a purple snow. And so many amazing, cool snakes. This snake is very unique. Now, funny enough is, I, Tim takes care of the breeding. I'm usually talking about the breeding, what we're breeding, I pull the eggs, and make videos, have a good time. Tim likes to hide in the back. He's not into it as much as he used to be for as far as being videotaped. But look at this. This snake was one of the snakes I had to call him and ask what it was, and I'll tell you why. Because this snake is a secret weapon. See how what it looks like? It's all white, but it's starting to get little dots. And I say a secret weapon because if you ever want to confuse somebody, it's pretty hard to identify a solid white snake because there's about five ways to get them. But, boom! Before you know it, they don't aren't solid white anymore. So this snake actually changes from this to this. And they're absolutely amazing. Look at the colors. Dynamic. And I thought it'd be a great snake to show you the diversity and why so many people enjoy pythons. They're just not as simple as a snake. They're complex, they're beautiful, and they come in every color, size, and this is just one breed of snake. I'm talking about 400 colors of one breed. Look at this, and then we're looking at one snake that changed from one snake to another snake. So, 
Anyway, if you ever doubt if people are doing what they're doing and you don't like it, what they're doing, you don't understand it, it doesn't mean that it's not cool and it doesn't mean it's not their dream. So this is my dream. I'm kind of curious what your dream is because I know there's a lot of people out there do a lot of cool things. And no matter what you do, make sure you do something that you love enough to have passion to do it. And uh, this is just something I picked up when I was young and good looking, but it all went south. At least everything, the good looking and young part. But this is still awesome, still exciting, and still motivates me. And it's the undertow that keeps me going in the direction of animals because I love animals and I love taking care of them. And I love being able to share them with people so they can realize the value in animals and that they need to be taken care of and always be here. Anyway, hope you're living your dream. Whatever that is, I'm still curious. See you soon. Peace out.